Hello everybody, welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. We caught Timber in the previous episode, and I think I'm going to name him Lunk. Timber! Because Lunk sounds right. Lunk sounds right. Lunk sounds right. <laughs> Mostly because of that sound. Oh, and it's got Shear Force. But it has a special attack benefiting nature. Huh? Whatever nature that is. Special attack benefiting nature. Yeah. Wait, isn't red bad? No, red's good. Oh! It's got a sticker. What is it? I don't know. I can't check. It's quiet. It's a high special attack, low speed. Let's check it out. I'm going to try to Google that. What the stickers do? Yep. Uh, check summary. Over to the sticker. The uncommon mark. A mark, mark for, for sociable Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh. Lunk the sociable. That's the name of the episode, Lunk the sociable. And we've also got the beautiful sound of weed eating in the background. Oh, Let me close the window. Thanks, Twyla. Uh, thanks, Mother. 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 Mother, father. Um, spark plug is going to be replaced. Spark plug. Greg and Lunk are now best friends. It's canon. <laughs> Greg secretly hates Lunk. You jerk. You took my spot. I but was they the are best friends. How can they hate each other? Oh, no. When does Tyrogue evolve? Uh, 25 is my best guess, because it sounds right. Eh, maybe. Teaching Lunk's scary face to lower opponent's speed. Don't need pound. Don't need pound. Nope, don't need it. And it can't learn Rock Blast. Good enough. Alright, time to go fight Bidet. Bidet? Because you're a little butt wash. Toilet water. With your golden Rolex watch, it's way too big. <laughs> I always imagine that a bidet takes the water out of the toilet bowl, but I know it takes it out of the tank behind it. Like, why don't I just get toilet paper like a normal person? <laughs> well, it's less waste. Fair, it also wastes water. Uh, no, because you're using that water anyway to flush the toilet. True. <laughs> but it feels really weird. Just be like, ah, uh, get water sprayed. You'd probably get used to it. It's helpful if you're like so big that you can't really reach back there. Yeah, but you shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be. I'm glad I'm not. Like, when you get to the point where you can't wipe your own butt, <laughs> you got a problem, people. Like, get on a reality show or something. <laughs> there is reality shows about that. Um, yeah, get on, like, Biggest Loser or something. Let's get rid of Sand Attack. Do they still do that show? Uh, I have no idea. There's all kinds of uh, reality TV shows. There's one about hoarders. I wonder where the mentality of hoarding comes from. Um, I think it's the idea of losing something. I wonder if it's a survival instinct gone like super haywire. Maybe. I guess the fact that anything could be useful at some point. It is seen commonly in people who have mental disabilities. But people like people without mental disabilities can also be hoarders. Which is more common in, in that area. Okay, define mental disability because we've got uh, like, like autism, autism, schizophrenia, uh, like autism, Down syndrome, and I think Asperger's as well. Hmm. Well, we just don't like change. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of that fear of getting rid of something or losing it and it won't be there. Exactly. Just in case you need it. But people who are neurotypical can also 
have problems with hoarding. Ooh, fancy words. Yeah. Neurotypical. Um, yeah, that word's being tossed around on uh, on TikTok a lot. Of course, TikTok would. Did you hear all the cancel Canada Day stuff? Oh, yeah. Uh... I mean, we shouldn't really cancel it. We need to redefine what it is. Yeah. What, okay, what does anticipation do? And what does it um, mean when it shudders? I think a super effective attack that would normally knock it out in one hit won't knock it out in one hit. You should go into the Pokemon Professor's League. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's literally like a Pokemon competition, except it's like trivia. Okay. They give you a lab coat with a name, <laughs> and it's fun. like... It'll be like Professor Professor Purdy or something. And then you're like, they'll be like, what is the weight of a Pidgeotto? <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> five? Five what? Kilograms. Five apples, five oranges. <laughs> remember, our, remember that old math teacher we had, Mr. Tompkins? <laughs> Mr. Tompkins, yeah. And then you just gave the answer, like the American answer. You'd be like, five what? Five apples, five oranges, five pineapples? <laughs> Five elephants? <laughs> You're tearing me apart, boy! <laughs> You're tearing me apart. Uh, no, I don't need focus energy on one. He had, like, like the beneficial energy of Omni-Man from Invincible. <laughs> but, like, yeah, beneficial. <laughs> What's another 17 years? <laughs> What's another 17 okay. years? I can make another student. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing pens at everybody. Yeah. <laughs> But he, he, made, was, he made math fun. He was great, though. Yeah. I remember, like, because if you, if you actually were trying, if oh, you yeah. weren't just a dumbass and you were, like... If, if you didn't screw around, you'd get okay grades. Yeah, but also, and, if it came down to exams and you were like, I just don't understand this, he'd be like, stay after school, I'll give you, like, an extra hour of class time, just you and me. Because he understood that sometimes, if you just have one person... Okay, uh, here's what stickers do, or these things do. You yeah. can activate them, and normally they just say sending out Lunk, but when you have this thing active, so it'll use its tag, Lunk the social. Oh, okay. Ball. So let's get into a battle with Lunk and uh, show that off. But how did he get that sticker, I wonder? Uh, you can just randomly catch them. Oh, nifty. Uh, you can't breed them to have those stickers. You can, you can only catch them. I just want to imagine some kid dumped a bunch of stickers in the, in the wasteland. <laughs> they just pick them up and stick just them Just stuck themselves. them to their forehead. It's like, I got a, I, he's like stuck under his weird like pompadour. <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to be, a pompadour? It kind of looks like it, because he's supposed to be like a roughneck. Sort of. He goes from being a roughneck to like, let's see. Having an afro. Timber. Yeah. And then it's um, Girder. Girder. He's got the yeah. Yeah, he's got like the yo. I'm so cool. It's like a boombox. Don't mess with me. His nose is just starting to turn red from the alcohol abuse. And then he's like old man cockadores. Like I got my walker. Let me come on out. <laughs> the yeah, he's got a big red lumpy nose from all the alcohol abuse. Is that what it's supposed to be? Uh, that's, what, that's what it reminds me of. Because that's what uh, what alcohol abuse causes. And my ch my chops just over there like man. I'm just a a martial artist. I like breaking stuff. <laughs> and then he's like, I got four arms. What do you got? Alcohol abuse. You consider uh, Machop a martial artist? Machop, Machamp, and, well, Machop, Machoke, and Machamp, they always struck me as like martial artists, okay, right? Okay. Because they're like, here, all right? I think of them like bodybuilders. I guess you can see them either either. But I guess maybe a lot of bodybuilders can be martial artists, and a yeah. lot of martial artists can be bodybuilders. That's my head cannon. <laughs> I like Hariyama. Uh, the sumo Pokemon Hariyama. The sandbag Pokemon Madahuka. Is that what they're supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah, Madahuka is a sandbag for. Uh, they, I think they use sandbags for slapping training. For uh, sumo wrestlers, and Hariyama is like a fully trained sumo wrestler. 
Um, I'm trying to remember now. What they look like? No, like uh, what they? Because I'm pretty sure they use like a big wooden pole for that slap train. Yeah, but you can't all see the sandbag. And you could see the little knot tied on the top of his head to keep the sand in. Oh! Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that idea. Meow. Lunk the sociable. Lunk the aggressive. Had to be put down. <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the story behind a Galarian Meowth again? I don't know. It's supposed to be like a crazy mountain cat. Did they come across with like sailors or something? Possibly. Look, oh, me. That's what Berserker is supposed to be. He's just, like mm -hmm. supposed to be a like a seafaring Norse. They never G maxed Berserker, did they? No. I don't think var no, none of the variants have uh, G Max. Oh, great. This fight's gonna take longer. Thanks, Obama! <laughs> Thanks, Obama. I love it when they use Obama's voice for things. <laughs> like Big Chunkus. You should vote somebody good for president. Like Big Chungus. Have you heard his theme song? It's really good. <laughs> Whatever happened to Big Chungus? Um, it got old. We gotta bring it back. Nah. <laughs> bring yeah. back Big Chungus 2020. <laughs> 2021. The only names I'm okay with staying around is Loss and getting Rick rolled. No, to get rid of Loss. <laughs> Loss is bad. <laughs> the pattern recognition names can stay. Like Loss and Among Us. Like one white, five black. <laughs> yeah, that's a pattern recognition one. <laughs> I can't remember who's being released next. Oh, Butterfree. I like Butterfree. I'll be fine. It doesn't know any bug moves. I like Butterfrees. They're cute. Yeah. I like Merrells. Merrells would be a cute pet. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think is like the safest Pokemon to just give to a kid? Like, here's a here's a pet. Uh, Azumarill. No, Azrael. Because all it knows is Charm and Splash to begin with, and then maybe Bubble. Yeah, and you get used to it, dude. I just feel like here's a litter of Cinderquills. Your, your neighbor's Dredagon won't be able to hurt it because it's part fairy. <laughs> Kids, the neighbor's Kualava had a litter of Cinderquills. <laughs> Guess what I got? <laughs> I got third degree birds. <laughs> More like kids, the neighbor's Arcanine had a litter of puppy Growlits. <laughs> and only five of them got scooped up by Officer Jenny's. Screech? Yeah, that's I mean, much better. They kind of push Yamper to be like the pet Pokemon. Yeah. Yamper and Rockruff. Ball and its ability, Ball Fetch. Oh, yes, because it'll actually catch Pokeballs. It's really adorable. Yeah. Like, Wooloo is supposed to be kind of like a softer Pokemon, but then it's just like he busts down doors. Do I want Electric or. Oh, that's not Electric. That one just come up to you. You didn't yeah. even want to fight. He's just like, come on, catch me. Well, Take me home. I suppose it's chosen me, hasn't it? And I, it'd be rude of me not to. What's the other one over there? That's a pumpkin boo. It's ghost. No, get the yamper. Dude, the yamper chose you. Dude, take the yamper. But it might be a giant pumpkin. Dude. Ah. <laughs> the yamper's heartbroken now. I like pumpkins. Uh, that won't do anything against it. It's grass and ghost. 
It'll, it'll probably do a lot to Daltler, but uh, Daltler will resist the grass moves. All right, Daltler will be okay. Uh, this one's for physical, I want physical attacks. <clears throat> oh, great. <laughs> immediate special. No, immediate confuse ray. Oh. Balls. What happened? I got hit myself with confusion. You're gonna die. You're gonna lose. You're, you're gonna lose Ryder. Oh, good. He used Reflect. I guess I'll switch to, uh. To, uh. Whatever I called her. Gina. Oh, yeah. Is this the first time we're ever letting them out of the Pokeball? I think we let Gina fight once. And that won't affect anything. Zigzagoon would be the good Pokemon for someone who's misplacing everything. I lost my keys. Shake the Zigzagoon. Shake the Zigzagoon. <laughs> it's bound to have picked it up somewhere. Shake, shake, shake. Yep. <laughs> A bunch of nickels and dimes fall out. Because Zigzagoon, they can't walk straight, can they? They're constantly... Uh, yeah, they walk in zigzags. Now, do you think it's like a major zigzag? They gotta like walk five steps and then five steps? Or they're just like step one, step two, step three? I think it's a major one where they walk side to side instead of stagger. I'm afraid that Snarl will kill it. And then Linoon just can't turn. <laughs> He's essentially a drag racer. Um... What, what do you think would be most effective at not killing it? I don't know. I suppose Water Gun. I don't, it has used one grass move, though. Taking a chance. Ooh! And I did use Baby Doll Eyes on it. Scared boy hours. Oh boy. That's He's my butt. He's my face. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, excuse this is me. Take forever. <laughs> I'm just sucking in air left, right, and center. The old glasses case. Well, that's what it is. Yep. Don't know why it says Hummer on it though. It's probably it's heavy duty. Not really. I dropped it once and it fell apart. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's supposed to be like. Yeah. yeah. It's got a lot of like. It doesn't have much give this way, it. but when you squeeze in on it, it's got a lot of flex. Yeah, they tried to make it look heavy duty with the This is, this is an ab fake average metal. sized Punkaboo. That's all you really need. Gordon. Gordo. Gordon. It's a girl. Gordina. Gordina, it's Gordo. Uh, what is it? No. Uh, confusion Ray is I already knew what it knows. It's got a standard one. It's got Frisk, so I'll know what items it's all other Pokemon are holding. What does this one turn into? Tree Geist? Uh, Gorgeist. Gorgeist. It evolves through friendship, I think. You gotta make that pumpkin like you. Is that just a rune stone that fell over in a field? Yep. I even know the rune that's on that. You do? Yeah. Alright, what, what is it pronounced as? Uh... I for, you know what I knew so it. You don't know it. I well, I recognized it. It looks like this fully. It's like it's like a C and a reverse C. Okay. Was that an item? Hathro. Yep. 
I have no idea. I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna see if I got that one right. Oh, cute. We just missed time. We did? Oh, well. Well, I suppose that's the end of the episode then. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Yep. Gotta love it when people have wonderful days. <laughs>